is certain to drum up his own celebrity status. I want to be a professional drummer. So our next guest from Hinesville, Georgia, 11 years old and plays a lot of drums. Please welcome Tony Royster Jr. <laughs> Would you please welcome 12-year-old Tony Royster, Jr. I guess I was kind of like a, a circus act or something like that.
I guess I'll introduce these guys up here that are playing with me. Don't they sound amazing? Let's give it up for the band, man, ASAP. Clarence Hill on keyboards to the right. I don't like him, but it's okay. <laughs> on the guitar, we have Mr. Isaac Thompson. Let's give it up for him. Isaac Thompson. <laughs> Over here on the bottom, we have Mr. Francisco Federuzzo. Let's give it up, Francisco. I don't know where he comes from. I just found him somewhere, but he's great. And over here, last but not least, we have Mr. Daniel Moore on the keyboard. Yeah, I just recently got off tour with Jay-Z, um, the Heart of the City tour with Jay-Z and Mary J. Blige. And we finished, I would say, what, three, three days before it was time to actually start the recording for the DVD. The tour got switched around and went a little bit longer than what it's supposed to. I thought I was gonna have more time to prepare. I absolutely had no idea what I was gonna play. When he called me, I was like, cool. He was like, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna switch up the band, you know? I was like, okay, cool. And then I said, well, what are we gonna play? And he said, well, we'll just figure it out when we get there. I said, okay. <laughs> but that's Tony, I mean, you know. He's, you know, he can, he can be a last minute cat and make it sound like he's been playing it forever. <laughs> talking about here you know the, doing this for, for for some time and you know I, I try to prepare some stuff you know with some uh, you know the, all the arrangements are done here and it's, it's it's intense I'm having a really good time I actually woke up out of my sleep last night or uh, this morning early this morning with an idea and I had to get up out of the bed and jump on my keyboard and put it down in, in logic so that I could let them hear it we're creating these songs like as we go <laughs> you know Everybody's come with great ideas. I mean, he, this is a really good unit. I, none of us has actually played together as a band before. So this is like a really good unit, and everybody's just kind of bringing ideas and embellishing them, you know. I mean, it sounds like we were a band for years now. <laughs> yeah, we're putting these, these songs together, like, right now. Like, what you see is what you get. It's, it's, it's happening. Right from the top again, and I'll show you this, this part, but you might not have to do it. I'll show you. Come on. And when we do the, the, the joint on the, on the up, so maybe like not make that so dominant, like everybody not do that, or somebody just don't do that. I'm talking about the dun 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 or whatever that. I won't do it. Great. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Like it warmed up. Come on, man. Thank you. 
I don't know what's about to happen right now. Just to let you know. Look who's arrived. Word? Hey. Oh. DC. <laughs> Look at that. What are you doing in your face? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what is this guy doing? <laughs> Uh, it's been some years. A long time. You were a little shorter. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely didn't have any hair on your chin. I didn't chin. have anything, man. <laughs> it, was, it was a long time ago, man. It's just crazy. I've known him for so long, and then for him to actually be here again, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, man, so I'm really glad that you could come and participate in, in, in this new DVD, this new project that we're trying to put out. It's kind of like, um, like last minute, too. I mean, he brought up the idea, and I was like, man, if you do that, that would be awesome. And I didn't even think about it, because you know, he's probably one of the busiest drummers in the world. Being able to, to get you here is definitely a blessing. I really appreciate you know you coming. Well, uh, you know, you were there for me when I needed you, so man, I'm here for you. Dennis Chambers, that's all you need to say. You know what I'm saying? And everyone knows, definitely a household name to every musician that I go to. And, and just like everyone knows I'm just not drummers. It's gonna make the DVD even better that now Dennis is here and you know we can talk and play and just have a good time. And you know, everybody's involved. I'm just really excited about this whole project.
some chops. Got some chops. <laughs> Dog, tennis. Wow. That's fair you're gonna beat up on me alone. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I mean, you've grown. You've grown. You think, really? Hell yeah. The last like, time we played together, it was like, you know, it was like, it was like you, you couldn't figure out like how to play with me. Right, right. But now it's like you you, you play with you play with me and beyond beyond that. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy, yo. Cause he was like, uh, uh, uh. I thought she was going to another groove, but then you flipped it totally. I was like, okay, yeah, this where I gotta be. Before, I'm getting hit. Yeah, that was I can't believe it. It's like this big guy's like kill it. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's crazy. It's amazing. This is this is like. Like a dream come true, we can be able to play with this guy again. <laughs> right? It right then? Ah. It's like watching Billy Cobbler. It's like watching Billy Cobbler. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just really wanted to meet, you know, Dennis for the longest. And uh, my father was like, I mean, probably the best place to do it is at the NAMM show. He brought me out there in 1995, like I said, the first year. I went to the NAMM show, and I saw him a couple of times, but I didn't say anything to him the first couple of times I seen him. I was like, Dad, that's Dennis Chambers. I know it is. That's Dennis. And I would see him around again. I'm like, that is Dennis. Yeah, but can you use the same voice now? No, I can't. <laughs> there we go. That, I had the squeakiest, that's, that's... <laughs> I had the squeakiest <laughs> voice ever. But it was, you know. Your dad was right. He, that was smart because I'm sure that's when I heard about you, and that's like one stop shopping. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you could play, then that's it. That's mm -hmm. everybody just said, oh, Tony Royster, yeah. phenomenal young kid, done. Yeah, man, Tony, Tony's amazing. It's the best word to describe him. Tony might just say, I want a rock song, or I want to do a fusion tune, or I want to do something in seven. And sometimes he'll even just play a beat. And, you know, we just kind of figure it out from there. And then some of the songs, you know, some of the guys have kind of, you know, sat in the room on their lap laptop and logic and, you know, just have two bars or something. And then <laughs> we'll figure it out from there. But, you know, uh, yeah, that's, that's how we've been, re you know, coming up with this stuff. What's this tune that you have? Is that, oh, that's what I want to do. It's kind of like a, a rock. Uh, rock fusion, so whatever idea you have, or I can start out with something that we can just come up with something off the top, mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, the rock one will be the, the seven one, remember? Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I, have, I, I have the recording. He has a lot of parts, I mean, he has the part. Right.
clicks again, and then y'all come in together. I point.
I think your band sounds great. I was yeah. telling you and the guys, you know, uh, we've heard a lot of stuff come through here, mm -hmm. and that really hit a note with me, you know. Like, I felt it. I felt it was really good. It had a great feel, beautiful tunes. and Thank you, you know, very much. We only had, like, three or four days, or three days, to, to actually do the DVD, and what's funny is I came into this DVD with, with no idea of what I was going to play. Like, all the songs that me and the group came up with, we, we came up with these songs in two days, you know? Um, really stressful at the time. Um, a lot of hard work, but I'm really glad that the guys, the band, my band ASAP, we, we pulled it off. And, um, you know, if Terry says it sounds good, then we're, we're in the money.
um, being able to play with one of the greatest drummers there is, you know, it's, it was incredible, you know, and, and me growing up and just listening to different drummers and being able to, you know, be able to talk with legendary drummers like Terry Bazio and just being affiliated with everyone, it's just, uh, I'm just blessed, you know what I'm saying, to be in the presence of these, of these two great drummers. So when we get ready to play again, man, I, I don't even know how I'm going to feel. I might cry. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Uh, <laughs> no, I think I'll be doing the crying. Oh, whatever. <laughs> no, 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 none of that, none of that. The name of the band we don't have, is officially the we, No, we have to talk with Francisco as well. Oh, we have to. What am I going to do? Say, these people? These people. Tony Royster and them. <laughs> no. I don't want to do that. So let's get up a great name for the band. How do we come and make songs that we didn't even know and don't even have a name for the band or nothing? We don't even have a name for all the songs. That's true too. <laughs> Tell you ASAP, man. We'll ASAP? Yeah. You come up with like an acronym for each letter, that'd be awesome. Yeah. That is dope. ASAP, because we came up with those those songs ASAP. ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> right. But we have to have like A dot. Yeah, it's yeah, it's gotta mean something like. Because we just be like ASAP. Hmm. ASAP is hot though, I like that. It's catchy. It's good. Yeah, I had the opportunity to play with Tony on his previous DVD, uh, Pure Energy, so it's, you know, a lot of fun coming back to it, and, you know, we don't really have a name for the tunes or the band or anything, but we had an idea, though, uh, which was uh, uh, ASAP, uh, so that stands for Another Solution Around Possibilities, because in music, you know, everything is a possibility, and that's that's the thing about Tony, like, you know, he's he's a natural you know, kind of cat, like, you know, it's not all technical or that kind of stuff. Nobody ever told him that this is not possible, so he just tries it anyway. <laughs> so, you know, that's the solution, you know, everything in music, if you hear it, it's right, you know, so we're just trying, it's just another way to play it. Like I said, it was it was off, off the top of the head, you know what I'm saying? Nothing planned, anything, so maybe I would be in, in the practice room um, just playing a groove and everybody would be taking a break and like, for instance, one of the songs that we have, um, I went inside the room and I got on the drum set and I started playing this beat. And we were all just talking about what type of song do we want to do next, because we already did three songs and we still had like four left that we had to do. And um, I just went there and started playing a beat and the, uh, Daniel, um, the, the keyboardist, he was on the grand piano in the other room and he heard the beat and he just started playing something from what I was told. Um, he started playing something on the grand piano, and then he walked right in the room and got on his keyboards really quick, and he started playing what he was playing out there, and I stopped. He's like, nah, 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 keep going, keep going, I got an idea. And I was playing this beat. Next thing you know, he had this line, ba -da 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 -ba -da 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 -ba -da -da something crazy, you know what I'm saying? You hear it on the DVD. just magic after that. Just started playing and, he, and parts started coming. The next thing you know, we kind of fell in. Francisco, the bass player, came right in. He started putting his thing to it. He found out the notes, the chord changes. Uh, then Clarence, the other keyboard player, came in the guitar, and then there you had it. It was a song, you know? We came up with a couple of parts. I came up with some more beats on the bass drums, and that's basically how we work, man. You know, just pretty much a building block, stacking, you know, until it we feel it's full, until we feel like we came up with a song that everybody would listen to and not get bored with.
Well, I was in the band when I was in the military. And um, we would always go to, uh, to rehearse, you know, and Tony would always be with me. So one day the band was taking a break and Tony was sleeping in my guitar case. And he was just laying there peacefully and then all of a sudden the band took a break. Next thing you know, he woke up, walked over from the guitar case to the drum set. And I'm just watching him, you know, I'm just looking at him. Where is he going? Next thing you know, he walked over to the drums and he picked up the drumsticks. And I was playing some little riff, you know, something. On the guitar, I was playing something. And um, he started playing the beat to the riff that I was playing. And I'm like, wait a minute. So I stopped him. And I said, and I looked at him, I said, play that again. And he started playing this beat again. I'm like, whoa, he can play drums. And I'm saying this to myself now. You know, so I went home and told his mother that he can play drums. She didn't believe me at first. She didn't believe me. I said, your son plays drums. He's a drummer. My husband's kind of humorous. You know, he says things and makes up stuff sometimes. And you be like, are you telling the truth or are you just, you know, playing around? So he called me and told me, drive over to the rec center and watch your son play drums. I hesitated. I was like, no, nah, I'm not coming over there because you always got something to, something to say about something and it's, sometimes it's not right. It's just humorous. So, but I did. I said, well, let me just come over and see if he's telling the truth or not. You know, so I went over there and he said, okay, Tony, get on the drums and play something for your mother. So when he got on the drums, I was like, this is not real. <laughs> I said, this is unbelievable. For his age, I could not, I was in awe. For three, at three years old, I was really struck. I was like, oh, no, I can't, be, I can't believe I'm seeing this, you know. But it was amazing. It really was. And it's just the tears just start flowing. I said, oh, he has a gift, truly a gift. I first heard about him, the first time that I, that I heard of his existence was on that Modern Drummer Festival. You know, I was living in, in South America at the time, and, uh, and this drummer friend of mine, he was like, man, check this out, and he put this videotape, and we start watching the drummer, Modern Drummer Festival, and then he, this little kid, you know, 12, 12 years old, and he comes with this voice. Um, what I'm about to do right now is play a drum solo for you. Mr. Tony Royster, Jr. I, was, I couldn't believe what I saw. I mean, literally, that was stamped on my head forever. And in 2006, uh, uh, I moved to Atlanta. Uh, I, used to, I was living in Virginia at the time. 
And as soon as I got there, a week later, I met this drummer. He was like, yeah, hey, we gotta go to this place, the Peche Cafe, you know, where all the musicians get together there and jam. And Tony was there, sitting on stage. And I was like, man, I can't believe it. I think I came to the right town. <laughs> and uh, we met, we, we talked brief, briefly, you know, and then we would meet there, uh, you know, every other week. And, and then we started playing. That's really how, how we hooked up, just uh, like playing. You know, all these guys, all these guys, all the whole band, we met like that, just jamming in Atlanta. Yeah, we were in ATL, man. I just break my back. And it's, you know, it's crazy right now. I used to drive up and down this road every day. And I don't even live anymore. Like, LA is such a total, totally different environment. Cops don't play around, man. We didn't even get on a flight. What happened? You lost the flight. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you lost your car late to the airport. Is that what you did? No, the flights was canceled. You're a liar, man. <laughs> Thunderstorms. <laughs> it was thunderstorms. Thunderstorms. Yeah. Are you serious? What? You serious? No. You're stupid. I'm gonna kick your ass. Where the f are you, man? Huh? Where the f are you? Um, I'm somewhere. We're going in. Atlanta, it's hot and humid. We're at my boy Francisco's house, the bass player. I need to set up my computer so you can listen to it. You didn't bring the songs? No, they're out there in the car. I'm not going to go out there and get them right now. <laughs> here we actually, uh, last year, uh, we did like six songs with Tony. He made me play all the songs, you know, here with a click track and then we went to the studio, recorded the drums and then mix it here. are the bottom. We are the feeling of the music. I'm gonna say 80% of the people who get a track that like R&B or rap or hip hop. And when they get stuff in their car, they're gonna make sure they have subwoofers, a lot of speakers, so they can get the most bottom and bass and sub that they can possibly get. And that can overtake any other musical stuff in the song, and they really will not care. Although it's important to make the song sound like like it does, but they want to hear that beat, they want to hear that knock. So me being the drums, him being the bass player, you know what I'm saying? You already have bottom because you have rhythm, you have beat now. But then you bring in the bottom to add to that. It creates the foundation for the rest of the band, you know what I'm saying, to, to come on and build on top of that. And that's how I feel about it. I mean, I always, I mean, if I'm good with a bass player, then I'm good, because if everybody falls out, we can do a bass and drum solo for 30, 40 hours, you thought I was gonna say minutes. <laughs> but keep it going, you know what I'm saying, and have the crowd moving, you know what I'm saying, me playing off of him, him playing off of me, and that's how it goes, you know what I'm saying. You really can't do that with a guitar player, per se, or a keyboard player, unless he's playing bass and then soloing over top. But, you know, a keyboard player is probably going to want chord and do all that stuff. But it's about the bass player and the drummer. I gotta take this call. Hey, this is Daniel Moore. You remember him for the DVD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good? What's good, everybody? This is, this Back is my, with my friend, dude. Algebra Bissett. Oh, my God. Oh! And, yo, this the artist is crazy. I love her stuff. You look at look for her algebra. That is her real name. It's my people's. I know her. Look, she's a... 
She's a star. It's cute. We had them put on more songs just to wait for him to get here. He doesn't even know what I'm talking about, but it doesn't even matter. It's whack. But he's still play. Can't take that away from him. I hate him. <laughs> absolutely no comparison to, to Tony and um, you know sometimes people the people people at home some of them didn't get they didn't get Tony people back in Atlanta they, and, you know, they thought they thought that he was too busy if you can sit back and just pay attention to what he's doing you can hear it. this the space is still there the, the song is still breathing but you know he's making more so instruments of, of notes and sounds out of the drums as opposed to just somebody banging on a bunch of skins, you know what I'm saying? When I first started playing with him, uh, I was scared. I didn't know what to play. That was that's the truth of it, you know. Uh, like we were, I was playing at this this club, you know, and then I start I play one song and he jumped on the drums. I was like, okay, here it goes. And we played, you know, a little bit. You know, it wasn't a lot. You know, I, I really didn't know what to do. I was really nervous. But uh, after a while, I, I started getting used to it, and the communication was, was great, you know, and it's just really all about that, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's a musical communication. If I play, I play something, he will pick it up and continue it, or, or vice versa, you know. And I just try to let it flow, you know. All the guys um, I kind of met just on the scene, going to different clubs, playing, um, and just sitting in, you know, with different bands. I was just looking for people to chill with and actually have good relationships with, you know. Um, somebody I can just go out and not even talk about music, you know, and still have a great relationship. And that's what these guys all have, you know, um, a life outside of music, which makes their music even better, you know, um, because we use a lot of things to inspire us. So, you know, I have this all-star band, you know, kind of pick and choose from here and there, and um, this is what I came up with ASAP, another solution around possibilities. That's what it stands for. I first met Tony around three years ago. I started playing with him and about three years ago. I was like blown away, because I've heard of him, and I've seen him as t when he was 12 playing. But to actually play with him and see the, the expressions on people's faces after we're done, it was crazy. 
you know? So playing with him is a, is a dream almost. When I'm playing with Tony, I mean, he's got a great feel, you know? His pocket has definitely developed over time. Uh, you know, he's learning the discipline of, you know, musicianship and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, Tony's never, he's a definitely probably chop suey, but he's never been overkill, you know? <laughs> so that's probably hanging around so many great musicians, you know, as a kid, you know? things about him you know I think he was a straight-A student in mm -hmm. school and mm -hmm. you were doing baseball and yeah. football and mm -hmm. something else hockey or something. Yeah, I was doing everything bowling all that stuff. I'm like I'm trying to figure out how does he find time to play like that <laughs> <laughs> you know where do you find time to practice I don't know I think I think for me when I was growing up playing those sports was a way to inspire me to play and be creative on the set
it's nobody else that really give you that that feeling because he's just amazing you know so i was just like honored you know to be able to be on a dvd with tony royster you know he a good guy, but he's just a beast on the drums, and to, for him to want me to play with him is just amazing, you know? So it's an honor to play with him.
never fails to do the exact thing that you need in whatever gig it may be. He's very versed. Being able to play with both of these guys is just something that's going to just take it to a whole nother level because you have to really think and play. These aren't no slouches here. I so think that's you know how we feel about no, you. No, no, no. <laughs> but these aren't, these aren't slouches, you right. know. That's oh, how here we, we go. Feel, no, it's definitely, definitely going to be, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're gonna have some good times. We're gonna have good times. A lot of Red Bull. All right. Why are they doing this to me? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. You deserve well, it. Come on. But I'm, I'm thankful. Like, I'm thank, I thank you, Mr. Chambers, and Mary, I really appreciate it's, it. Uh, it's and really uh, John, and it's gonna go down. Everyone. Feel me? Word. We start something, and then we, and then we stop, and now no, no, play. No, no. You do your thing, and we talk to you. Oh, gosh. What we, what we playing, though? Oh, God. Did you put your guitar down and everything? What the?
Them hard work, man. It's fun, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? The drums is my life, the drums is my passion. So I love to do, you know? It doesn't matter how many it takes, I'm just gonna keep doing it, you feel me? Yeah. Everybody out there, I just wanna say thank you for your support, all your love, and really supporting Tony Rocha Jr. I love all my fans, and uh, y'all the ones who keep me going. So I really appreciate y'all, you feel me? DW for life, fastclips.com, make sure you check them out. Holla at me, dogs.